Uh, is it really that? Uh, right off the bat, yes. Uh, for those of you who are... I know you guys have a microphone, right? I can hear you laughing. You alright? They're not alright. Um, so, for those of you who may not know, uh, I have an account for the cat. His name is uh, the Lord Tyrion. Uh, he's very cute. He's a, he's a very adorable little guy, but uh, he's very demanding. Uh, so, really, the account started because my girlfriend and I just thought it was hilarious. Um, obviously, this predates the show, but really, it was just like Tyrion had 10 followers, and all of them were our friends, and basically, you know, just silly photos of him and, and me looking ridiculous. Uh, we had no idea that Tyrion would be so uh, loved uh, in his little kingdom. So, it's been fun. I think he's having a great time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Hi. It's um, How do you think Jack would react to hearing Sam once had powers? How would I react to hearing? Um, if Sam, want, uh, Sam once had powers, how do you think uh, Jack would react to that? If someone else had powers? Sam. 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 Oh, Sam. Sam. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's taken me, I'm not going to lie, a little bit with the, the accident. I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, if Sam had powers... Um, no, no, Sam, Sam did have powers. Oh. Stop using them. Okay. Yeah. Um, that would be really interesting, because uh, Jack really does look up to Sam. Um, so I think for him to maybe see a little bit, for them to be more alike, would be, uh, would be really incredible. Um, Jack looks to these characters kind of as, as father figures, so to have his father be more like him, I think would be really nice for him. Yeah, thank God about that. Alright, thanks. It's not even funny. I mean, it sounds, it sounds pretty funny. I feel like you guys are holding out on this. That's okay, though. No, it's fine. Um... It doesn't seem funny. <laughs> Okay. Okay, um... Three, two, one. Alright. <laughs> no. Uh, Alright, then. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, so Jack is a, is a very unique character. He's, he sort of looks at the world with sort of childlike wonderment, but, but has this sort of immense power that, so far, I don't think anyone in Supernatural is quite matched up to. Um, as an actor, how, how do you prepare for a role that is so complex because there is so many different sort of parts of Jack? How do you sort of incorporate all of that into your character? Uh, what's been really fun about the show for me is that we, you know, even me starting off as the character, I wasn't sure if he was going to go evil or, or good. So I guess kind of keeping that all in, in, the, in the back of my mind uh, as soon as you figure out what's going what's gonna, what's gonna to happen. Uh, what's exciting for me is like I don't know if Jack's gonna turn left or turn right. Uh, it's just been, I mean, really fun for me just to not know each week if, if this is the week that something terrible happens, you know? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for completing with me. We're really glad to have you. Oh, thanks for having me. Hey. Hi. So, you know, did. Uh... Thank you for not laughing at me right off the bat. <laughs> so nice of you. Um, okay. So, we know that Jack loves New Get. How do you feel about New Get? How do you guys feel about New Get? <laughs> wow, wow. Um, someone just gave me a thumbs down. <laughs> They're like, nah, no New Get. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to go with the crowd here. Uh, New Get, not loved. Not loved here. Um, I would like better. Mars bar. Basically on set, the, the nougat quote unquote is often Mars bars. So, you know, sometimes you have to eat 10 Mars bars in a row, which is not as great as it sounds. <laughs> um, do you like chocolate? I do. Do you like eating them for 10, 10 of them straight in a row? Not necessarily. Yeah. No, no but I might have a surprise for you at photo ops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
can't wait to hear what that means. Uh, <laughs> Um, we have, like, a lot of fans of certain characters we look up to and can relate to, so I was wondering if you had any characters from shows or movies or books that you look up to? Hmm, uh, I think there's people I definitely, like, uh, admire, uh, and, like, I don't know, I guess I'll give you an example for it. Not maybe there's someone I look up to because it's a bad example, but, uh, I definitely saw Goodfellas when I was a kid, and I like thought those characters were really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but it's not characters to aspire to. What I like about Supernatural is there's uh, definitely you can definitely find yourself in, in a lot of the characters and your aspirations and your struggles. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hi. Hi. Oh, first, thanks for everything that you brought to Supernatural. The season has been amazing. Um, Thank you. Um, thanks for having me. I'm just happy to be here. Um, I was wondering if there have been a few gaps in narrative on the screen of what Jack is doing. What's your approach to scripts, and how do you do you think about like everything that he might have been through that, and how do you like first like and yeah go towards that? Um, so. Here's my question. So you guys here in the UK, I know that the, the season 13 just started coming out on TV, but from talking to you guys, the most of you guys scream it illegally is what I'm saying. Okay, so. Um, I was like, how much can I say for spoilers? And everyone's like, yeah, we're up to date. We know what's going on. Don't talk about last night's episode, though. That was not last night. Don't talk about last night. Okay, that's fine. Um, so there, is, so there is a gap in narrative uh, recently, and uh, for me, we, we kind of leave Jack and Mary in the apocalypse world, and we don't know exactly what they've been doing, um, but for me, I'm, I'm often kind of filling in the story in terms of what they've been up to. So in this most recent case, they, they kind of say that Jack and Mary have been you know, freeing other people, they've been fighting angels, so when we come back to Jack and his narrative, I definitely try to keep that in you know, what just happened in the back of my mind. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Shout out. Hey. Hi. Um, I hey, thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. So, I understand Jared and Jensen have picked you as their latest prank victim. So I was wondering, have you got any new stories, or have you got your own back on them yet? I like how someone here is like, oh. <laughs> Um, I was plotting my, like, you know, revenge style, uh, prank, but it did not come to fruition. Um, so I think I have to save it at this point. Uh, so because me and Mary have been in the apocalypse world, thankfully, you know, I've been away from, from the rest of them. So, with that being said, my life had to become an apocalypse, which I'm very thankful for. I mean, most recently, no new pranks for you guys to, to update you on. Uh, there have been dicks on laptops. There have been... Like pictures uh, or physically? You no, know, just general shenanigans whenever they're off camera. That's really the, really the worst part is them just improv lines at you while you're trying to cry. <laughs> it was when they started talking about, like, there's, there's a scene earlier in the season, which you guys have all seen, apparently, uh, where I'm overhearing them talk about me they're talking, you know, and it's close to me, I'm thinking about my, my mom who, who had died. But instead, they're just, you know, they're just like, ah, oh, Jack. Jack's gonna jack off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like trying not to laugh, also trying to cry at the same time. So, uh, it's been a difficult season now. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hey, you're my favorite character, so this is great. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so um, as for the attributes of your character, what can you most relate to yourself? Uh, that's a very personal question. Uh, I think what I like the most about Jack is his uh, his like naive nature. Um, that's really nice to play because. 
you know, he really appreciates the little things that go on to him. Um, I think for Jack and for myself, and I think for a lot of people, uh, he doesn't really belong, uh, and he kind of struggles with where he belongs in terms of his family, his lineage, uh, you know, him with the Winchesters. So it's been really nice to see him kind of find uh, his own little family this season. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Um, I hope you're enjoying your time at the convention. It's great. Everyone's super lovely and nice. Um, some look perverted, but others. Most <laughs> uh, people, though, are extremely lovely. Only some. I'm okay. disappointed, Vando. My question is um, at the beginning of the season, um, Jack had trouble accepting himself. I'm just wondering how he is now that, because he wants to take on Michael. And I'm wondering if he still views himself in the same way. Mm. Okay. Uh, this season, I, I mean, he's, he's been through so much and he's experienced so much in, in the world. Um, I think he's definitely still finding himself. He's, he's finding out uh, who he really is. And I think that's kind of it, his, his big struggle, actually. Um, What's been nice, though, again, has been that he's found the, the Winchesters, and he's found his family. And then with Michael, he's found a, a specific task where he can focus his energy on. Um, so I think that's given him a real, uh, real purpose, uh, which has been really nice for someone that's been, been so lost to have that kind of acceptance and that, uh, that purpose. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi. Hi. Uh, I think there's a lot of people in the audience who are like, afraid to go up here and ask a question. Is that but, true? But, like... <laughs> yeah? yeah? I would encourage every... I'm really nice, I think, so, like, feel free to <laughs> dive on up. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so I was wondering, do you have any tips or, like, motivation to them so they can all become stage fright or something like that? Ooh, well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely still uh, get nervous. Um, because you're backstage and you're like, ah, how am I gonna do this? Um, but no, I don't know, I think just throw yourself into it. Uh, you were brave enough to come up here. I think everyone, I think what's actually been awesome is if you go to these cons, you like realize that everybody around you genuinely is happy that you're there, they want to meet you. So I think there's a real inclusivity and uh, you know care that you guys have for each other and, and that we do for you. So, Come on up, say hello. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi. Hi. My question is, you know when you found out you were going to be on Supernatural, because it's one of the biggest TV shows, what was your reaction that you were joining such a big fandom and a big show? Well, I was really excited, first off, to uh, have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Having a job is always cool especially when you're unemployed. Um, so first off, right off the bat, I was like, I'm gonna make more than $7 an hour? That is awesome. <laughs> I really didn't know what to think. Uh, I was just excited to see the possibilities of where this character could go. Um, and I think that we're, we're still discovering that. Um, but along the way, it's been crazy because all of this is happening, all of you guys are here. Uh, so it's just been such an added bonus to, to, to additionally be on a show that's, you know, so well loved. Well, welcome to the family. Oh, uh, thank you. Hello. Hello. What color is your hair? I can't see from here. The lighting is not so bueno, you know? <laughs> um, my question is... <laughs> I, I actually can't hear very well, so... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's fine, I'm used to it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, you're talking about my hair color? Yeah, what color is your hair? Uh, it's actually being washed out since I died in October last year, so it's like... I guess ice blue color? Ice blue, I like it. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> um, my question is, is there any fair book that you read during your free time? Any what kind of book? Any type of book, like oh. fantasy or such. Yeah, I mean, I'm always trying to read something. Uh, right now, I'm reading a book about uh, 
army rangers. <laughs> you guys are like, ah, oh, that's so lame. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm going to read a book about this guy who uh, is an army ranger and then robbed a bank. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Hey, I don't do anything like that while I'm in Europe. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Yo, what up, Cass? I just wanted to ask, how naked were you actually really on the first episode? Yeah. <laughs> People are nice, but lovely. Oh, <laughs> just wait till next weekend. Uh, well, again, I, I think someone asked in one of the people I was talking to earlier, uh, you can't actually just be naked on a set. Uh, <laughs> it's just not allowed. It's, I don't know about your guys' jobs, but if you show up naked, it doesn't go that well. Um, no, they basically give you like uh, like a tan-colored underwear. So uh, it was really fun to just be in front of a hundred people like that. It was great. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Yo. Uh, I've been asking everybody, which is your preferment? Ninjas or pirates? Okay, so I'd like to take a poll. Uh, if that's cool with you. Yep, yep. Okay. It's a pirate crowd. Oh. A pirate crowd? It's a pirate crowd. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three pirates. Woo! Yeah. One, two, three ninjas. So definitely, definitely a pirate crowd, I'll agree with that. Um, I just always know that the, like, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I'm always, I think I'll have to go team pirates just because I would just love to be in the Caribbean, you know? They'd be like, hey, you want to come? I'll be like, yes. Bring your rum. And drink some rum. Why is the rum? This is the These people are alive. <laughs> yeah, uh, ever since we've been here, people keep offering us alcohol. Like, we're at breakfast, they're like, you want a pint? I'm like, no, like, I'm just trying to get a coffee. You know? <laughs> Is that, like, what everybody expects, though? Or are you guys all, you guys all working all that? <laughs> well, I'm Aussie, so I got the wrong excuse. That's fair, that's fair. Excuse me. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Um, for the first few episodes of um, the season, Jack kind of backpacked them, and I just wonder what in it, what was in it, like coloring books or. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, well, I mean, well, coloring books is actually maybe like a great idea for maybe calm them down, not throw people in vending machines and whatnot. Um, wow. Yeah. They basically had the backpack as an idea that he was like traveling, but then kind of as we went along, it was more of a Pascal thing where it's like, what does he really need? You know, <laughs> he's got one cute outfit and probably gonna keep wearing that. Uh, but no, uh, the backpack. I think they were just like extra clothes. Yours is much more imaginative though. I like it. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Um, first of all, I just wanted to tell you that I really loved your character in Dr. Jail and thank you so much for joining the show. Thank you. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you if you think in the direction the show is going, whether Jack is going to stay with the brothers and with Cass, or whether he's going to leave them, leave the nest. Well, we've seen Jack leave the nest. Uh, it usually doesn't go well for <laughs> pretty much anybody who leaves. They just get killed or, you know, they need some some sort of demise. Um, yeah, that's kind of been an interesting part of the season. We don't know if Jack's going to join Lucifer, if Jack's going to stay with the Winchesters. Um, I hope personally that he, you know, stays with, uh, stays with the brothers. There's such an interesting dynamic that they have, and plus, Jack being not evil has been nice. Uh, yeah, what are, what are you hoping for? What do you think? Let me know. Uh, I really love the campus, so I just hope you stay with them. You wanted to die, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just want to ask, um, if Jack meets uh, Lucifer, how would he, how would he react with the, the dark side? Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> 
hopefully we stay tuned and watch our legal browsers and we we'll all find out together. You know? is, that, is that a hint? Yeah, it's a hint that everyone's watching illegally. <laughs> Time, this is true, this is true. I'd probably do the same thing. Just uh, just my <laughs> uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah, not to spoil, but I mean, we're, we're going to see Jack and Lucifer by the end of the season, and uh, there's going to be uh, some shenanigans. Is that a popular word here? Shenanigans? Yeah. All right, all right. Hi. Hi. I'm not up to date with this show on episode 3, but I really wanted to ask you how you felt when you realised you had to be naked in the first episode. <laughs> and I got put up to this bit, does your girlfriend know you watch it when you're naked? <laughs> Again, perverse. Uh, um, I was nervous. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's nerve wracking, you know. I don't know how many people you take your clothes off in front of, but, you know, <laughs> that's probably a handful. <laughs> just, just my husband. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, you did an awesome job, and thank um, you. I just want to add that I really love your cats, and we'll be getting friends back as well, so woohoo! Shout out to Shout yeah. out to Shout out to your awesome. husband. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Uh, hi, I love you so much. Um, my question is, um, what's your favorite memory from the set? I don't know, it's hard to say. We, we've been, we're going to be shot 10 months straight, so we kind of collect all these memories. Um, I guess the last day of filming was, was really cool. Everyone was so happy. It's like they completed a marathon. Uh, so just like hanging out in people's trailers and, you know, talking to all your friends on set, I guess that was probably pretty amazing. Yeah. Like this place, it's like there's a real community to it. So that's that's always really nice. I guess the other one I probably thought of was like me, Mary, and, and Jim Beaver like filming in a mud pit, essentially. <laughs> Were uh, you naked? <laughs> just one of those days where it's just miserable so you guys kind of bond a little, you know? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Jack. Hi. Uh, I just want to ask you what you think Jack would do if you would met his mother in the apocalypse world. Ooh. Interesting. Are you a writer for next season? <laughs> Maybe. Secretly? Secretly? Uh, well, it's not a secret. You just told everybody here. Uh, I don't know. That would be really interesting. Um, because, you know, they're, they're different versions of themselves. So there could be a version where, you know, she never had Jack or, you know, they don't know each other exactly. So that could be super bizarre, uh, how they just kind of, you know, mother-son relationship, but the mom not even knowing that Jack's her son, that would be so bizarre. You know, it would be like her having amnesia. That would be really interesting to see, though. Um, Courtney Ford, I'm sure, would be uh, happy to come back. Um, season 14? Again, you're writing it, so you can tell me later on. <laughs> I, I will appreciate any heads up you can give me. Hi. Um, I was wondering if if you could choose like one minor character to have as like Jack's kind of like buddy, um, who would it be? Um, so at least in the UK, I know you guys are up to episode three. Um, but uh, my buddy Rob was in the first was it the first episode where I'm eating the candy bars? Yeah. yeah. I'd probably choose him for a friend at this point. Um, just because he, he kind of thought I was on drugs, so like maybe he would have some sort of psychedelic experience for me and Jack. Um, so it'd be fun to kind of go around with someone Jack's uh, his own age, have their own adventure. Maybe we could, Two months old. you know, skateboard or, or go to a bar or, or something. That was Thank my you. theory at this point. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Um. Which do you think will have the bigger effect on Jack, nature or nurture? What do you think? Well, well, we've got to wait to see yet, but um, people in general, what do you think has the biggest effect on 
keep in general nature or nurture? I hope, um, I hope nurture. I really do, because a lot of people have really uh, not so great circumstances that the, that happen to them in terms of in terms of nature or in Jack's case, maybe who his parents are. So uh, I really hope that having these positive people around him uh, can, can influence him more so than, than the nature element of it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, welcome to the Thank you. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's been great. Um, I was wondering what challenges you faced in this season, of, you know, apart from this Jared related ones, and if you've done any um, any research on previous episodes to see if natural sort of get yourself into it. I'm just what your, your approach has been. Um, in terms of approach, uh, I was kind of lucky because Jack is so new to the world that uh, I didn't have to think about you know, 12 years of like <laughs> research. Um, so I walked into it kind of not knowing anything. I, I really wanted to discover day by day uh, with, with the Winchester what his experience was like and what it was like to be in that world. Um, challenges, uh, for me, I guess, seeing the world for the first time was definitely a kind of a challenge for me. Um, because you kind of take for granted the little things. Uh, but Jack doesn't, so that's that's what I really enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, so you were saying that Jack is looking up to some of these kind of five figures, and uh, he sees the family bonds that they have. How do you think uh, Jack would react when he if he finds out about uh, them leaving Adam behind? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so what do you guys think about Adam? Because from what I understand, again, this is not, I haven't researched this, but he got like abandoned, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's a possibility Jack just gets tossed aside Adam styles, I guess. Um, I think that would affect him because, uh, he definitely trust them so much, but then to know that this guy just got tossed aside is kind of tough, you know? And he's the brother as well. Is he the brother too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> half brothers. <laughs> Man, that's rough. Uh, I didn't know these kind of possibilities were in store for me. I think that would definitely uh, negatively affect that. Be like, yeah, we're the Winchester brothers. And I'll be like, Someone told me about uh, this Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he was our half brother. Like, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see on that one. Thanks so much. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Um, it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm here on my honeymoon with my husband. And Where's your husband? Over there somewhere. <laughs> You've already abandoned him? What the hell? <laughs> Is his name Adam? No. <laughs> okay. No, not quite. Well, congratulations, first off. Thank you. Um, I was wondering which of Jack's powers would you like to see on the show? Would I like to see like a, like a power that hasn't been shown yet? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think he's still discovering his power, so I'm kind of excited to see what else he's capable of. So far, like throwing people across the room and uh, you know showing up in new places is pretty dope. Um, I really like the thing that Lucifer does, where he just goes like this, and people just choke to death or they explode. <laughs> I'd like to see more of that. <laughs> you know? I like it. Yeah, and then like a couple years of your marriage, we're thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'm okay, kidding. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, I just want to say, first of all, that I absolutely adore you, and I adore Jack as well. So, and okay. I'm really happy that you were introduced onto my favorite show. Um, also, my question was asked before, so I will ask. How do you feel about people saying that you are Misha's son? <laughs> well, I mean, first off, it's very confusing. Um, <laughs> you know, imagine meeting a stranger and be like, hey, you're my kid. Yeah. <laughs> you're identical. 
We're identical, apparently. Uh, again, I've, I've had to ask some serious questions. I <laughs> you should get a DNA test. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 20, 23 Amisha is what we'll call it. And you guys don't have one. Uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. You know. do, you, do you like it? Do you like being compared to that way? Well, I think the, the comparison between Jack and Cass is kind of inevitable. Um, the fact that he and Misha kind of look alike really doesn't help me at all. Uh, it's fine. You know, there's definitely worse things that can happen. You guys could be like, yeah, I can't believe what Jack looks like this troll. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'm one of the few that's still on episode three, so... No spoilers, no spoilers. You might have been on some later in the season, I don't know. Okay. How old is Jack? Because sometimes he's very young, and sometimes he's more like a teenager, and I'm just curious if, if you know what, how old he actually is. I don't know, technically. I feel like he's like at least like eight months old by the end of the season. <laughs> uh, I have had a beer on the show, so like... You know, that's not advisable for parents out there. For you to do marriage if you have children. You know, your kids beer it in you know, eight months. Uh, but I think as, as he kind of evolves, he, he is moving faster than obviously most toddlers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, what I like is he, a couple episodes in, again, no spoilers, uh, he does get a little moodier. He kind of has like a bit of a rebellion. So I think he is moving towards his like teenage years. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Yo. So if you, as Alexander, could spend a day with Jack, what would you do? I don't know, man. Maybe take him somewhere fun. Uh, the Disney World. Uh, no, the, the Disney World thing might be a little surreal for him, honestly. <laughs> All these people dressed up, he might try to, like, fight the game out. Uh, like, yeah, maybe an amusement park would be fun. Mini golf. Mini golf. I think I'm fascinated by that. Where would you take Jack? Please don't say something. <laughs> I'm like, I'm setting myself up. Sorry, go ahead. Maybe a bar with Jack. Maybe he's experienced that. No, he definitely hasn't experienced that. Like a nightclub? Yeah. I would love to see that. Like how Cassidy's first experience was in the club? Like Find me in the club, starring Jack Wilson. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hi, how's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? <laughs> where do we, where do we go? Good, good to hear it. Um, so my question is, we, as the series goes on, um, get to see uh, Jack build a relationship with Mary. How do you think he would get on with the others from the potential Wayward Sister spin-off? Do you think there's someone he'd get along with better or worse or fight with or... Yeah. Hmm, that's hard to say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like Jack really gets along with pretty much everyone who isn't evil or hurting people. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'd love to see that show kind of take off and, uh, you know, be its own thing. Um, but Jack is definitely capable, I think, of getting along with, with anybody. Um, Kim's character would be, you know, well, I met Kim in real life, so, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty funny to see her. She's very, like, you know, kind of sassy and loud and supportive. So I think Jack would get a good kick out of her, you know? Okay, yeah, great, thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hello. One of um, the season's problems is that they haven't maybe shut down because they're in lack of angels. And we know that um, Jack is very powerful. So I wanted to know if you think he's powerful enough to create new angels. This could potentially be one of Jack's new powers. Uh, job creation, if you will. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, he has unlimited possibilities. And he's, I think, only scratched the surface of what he's truly capable of. Um, so I'm not sure yet. I, I think Jack could just meet at this point literally anything. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think it's definitely a possibility for him. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.
Hi. So, in season 11, we see that Sam had a imaginary friend. I was wondering if Jack had an imaginary friend, what would it be like? I feel like Jack is like already potentially an imaginary friend. <laughs> Just like how he is, like he's always around, he's always optimistic. <coughs> If you could, if you could have an imaginary friend, yes. Hmm. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I don't know. Probably someone made out with like sweets. <laughs> is it his new good friend? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that would be a great friendship though. If I was like constantly taking bites out of it. <laughs> you know? I don't know about you and your friends, but. <laughs> Anytime you bite people, they get weird, you know? It's, it's bizarre. Maybe someone more Jack's age, you know? Someone you could, like, relate to, and I guess if you're relating to something imaginary, that's okay. I can just stick with Nougat, Nougat friend. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Hi. Hi. What do you find most annoying and most lovable about your character? Uh, most annoying is, uh, he's just like relentlessly optimistic at, for a lot of the season. Um, I find his uh, naivety kind of, it can be kind of annoying. It, it's useful for the story, um, but I think Jack would fall for anything. Uh, we see him get tricked constantly, so that kind of sucks. Um, and I guess the thing I like the most about him is, in fact, his naivety. He, uh, he enjoys things. He enjoys life. Things are new. Sometimes you see him touching brick balls. You don't know why. <laughs> He's just having a great time. Yeah, to see. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hi. Yo. So I was wondering, at the beginning of the season, um, you bring back Castiel. Why not? Why would Jack not bring back his mom? Uh, I think that the Castiel he, he knew was his like his savior in a way. Um, I, I don't think Jack's people have like resurrected life yet. Um, we see that Castiel was kind of in that like sunken place, or whatever, and he was still around and he was still um, you know not human. So I don't think well we know that Jack can't like save lives yet because like, he accidentally killing people. Um, <laughs> That would make me not a really lovely character if I just accidentally killed someone and I had the power to save them, but I was like, meh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jack knew that Castiel was there to protect him, so I think that was their, their link, you know? Fair enough. Thanks. Hi. Hey. Um, my question is, if you could be a fictional character from anything, what would you be? And if Jack could be a fictional character, what would he be? I think Jack's uh, exposure to media has been pretty limited so far. Um, again, not, I don't want to spoil too much for those of you in episode 3, uh, but he has like kind of a... He plays Star Wars, so he sees kind of uh, Star Wars characters. Um, he doesn't like Anakin, is what I remember. So I think someone, you know what, Jack would probably like, he'd see Chewbacca and he'd be like, that guy's having a good time. <laughs> you know, he's riding around the Millennium Falcon, just yelling at people, he's always got kind of a grin on his face, he's got a sick gun. Um, so I think Jack would maybe want to be Chewbacca. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know. Is Jack going to be someone in the Star Wars universe? Who do you think he'd be? Uh, Luke. Because he saves people. So. Yeah, it looks complicated though. Yeah. 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 Um, also, his dad's evil, like Lucifer. So. Yes, this is true. This is true. Uh, and he's different from Lucifer, which I think Jack should be. Like. Hopefully, he's different. Again, we're, we're, we're still trying to find him. He's trying to find his way. But I'm going to vote Chewbacca for Jack. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So you get asked so many questions of the conventions. How do you manage to answer questions but not give away spoilers, even if you really want to answer questions properly? I mean, that's a great question. Uh, you know, you try to do vague, open-ended things, you know, so they can't think and be like, ah, he kind of did. Yeah. But mostly I did. Um, <laughs> 
You want to tease like a like a theme or some sort of element that's going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. How would you do it? You got any PR tips? I probably wouldn't. I'd just end up spoiling the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they appreciate that for me. Like, so when Jack beats Lucifer, <laughs> gets cut off. Yeah. Okay. I try, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Thanks. Hi. I just want to know, what's your favorite book? What's both? What's my favorite book? Uh, I don't know. That's hard to say. There's been a lot of books now that I think you know, I think you have like a favorite book when you're like 18, yeah. and then you have like a favorite book when you're older. Yeah. Um, because I think if you go back on the book you like loved, you're like your first like relationship. You go back now and you're like a little embarrassed. Yeah. You know. Uh, what was your what was your favorite book? Out of curiosity. Um, mine's probably been the Alex Cross series by James Patterson. Oh yeah. Um, I probably like a lot of. Sort of when I, was mm. I always go with the all time. I mean, I grew up reading Harry Potter, so. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm in England now, so I'm like looking for things, looking for platforms, uh, trying to figure out what else I'm in. You know, typical stuff, right? Yeah. Did I do? I went to. Uh, uh, Robbie's a shamble poof. I like that. Classic. Hufflepuff. Classic out of Hufflepuff. Rich is a what? Uh, Michael's a ding dong. Uh, North is a. Kinky boot. I thought I was truly. I thought I was going to say Julius Slytherin. All right then. <laughs> what are you? What's your house? What's your thing, man? Huh. Uh, I think everybody wants to be Gryffindor, but... No? Yeah, that's... Don't! Why is he not Gryffindor? I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh... Slither. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, really, it's a house divided here. I mean, you know what you say. It's a house yeah. divided, it's pirates, it's ninjas, you know. Like, like, a quarter of the people mad, or whatever. That's why they leave it up to the sorting hat. You know, I don't yes. want to be the back hat. Blame the hat. That's my love. Um, Al. Yes. Yes, Rich. Are we going to see you the rest of the weekend? Are you bolting out of your night? Like, you want a boat? You're gone? Are you sticking around? No, I'm sticking around. All right. We get more alcohol. We're all weekend long. Please, <laughs> <help me. laughs> Karaoke thing, shall we? Good job, UK! 